Presley, how was your trip to Arizona? Good, El Cheze. Why do you call me El Cheze? Why do I have this nickname all of a sudden? El Cheze, I don't know. What's it, what's it mean? Cheese. Explain to everybody. Cheese. I'm cheesy? Yeah. Oh my God. There's the rig. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's do this, family. Well guys, our timing couldn't have been better. We came, we saw, we conquered. What an epic weekend uh, here in Scottsdale slash Phoenix. We got to film some stuff with the 720, which I know you guys are pumped about. And we got the sunshine and everything we wanted. It just started to rain last night and we were leaving today. So worked out beautifully. If you guys are ever in this area, we're not getting paid or anything to say this, but the Phoenician Resort is a fun resort, especially if you're coming out here with a family. They had so much stuff for all the kids to do. All right, road <laughs> tripping back to SoCal. In the rain. Hey, look at this. We got an Urus. Spotting cars, Urus. Well, that's it, family. We are now leaving Arizona. There's the river. Once we cross this, California, California state line right there. Boom. Here we are. Right in the water, inspection station. Now these inspection stations are agriculture inspection stations. Allegedly they're looking for fruits and nuts. I'm a bit nuts, but I don't think I'm the problem. Although you never Not know. Today. Not today, right? <laughs> so it's like you drive through here and you can see it says right there, California agriculture station. But they basically just look at you and wave you through. So I don't know really what the point of this is. I'm gonna show you. There we go. They basically just wave you through. It's kind of interesting. And that's it. And then you need a snack? Okay, we'll make a stop. We need a snack. Then they got some official looking truck over there. That's, I think that's, what's it called? Border and whatever else. And here's the sign. Welcome to California, ladies and gentlemen. We are entering Pacific time, but we are sprinting ahead. So. That's right. Okay, Presley needs a snack. We will make a stop and see what kind of goodies we can find at our. I'm going to try to find a truck stop, like an official truck stop, because this thing's diesel and it needs def fluid. And I can get def fluid on the pump, which is easier than opening up like four boxes to pump basically in by hand. Let's see what we got. Yo, Amazon's broken down, but everyone's driving around them. That sucks. <laughs> that you can't just go this way. Nope. Oh. Let's do some off-roading ourselves. Follow these guys. This guy's stuck. Yeah. That sucks. Oh man, the big ring went over all this too. That guy. Yeah. All right, we're good. Presley, you want to see something crazy? You want to see some tanks? The tank oh. pavilions right here. It's actually pretty nuts. Ooh, I would not want to be on a bike in the rain. No, being on a bike would suck. Look at the look at the tanks on your left. Wow. That's crazy. These things are huge. What's next? I got apple juice. Apple juice? Uh, beef jerky. Yeah, beef jerky. It's the rally snack of all rally snacks. Beef jerky and an energy drink. All right, Peanut we're getting back on the road. What? Peanut butter bar, corn nuts. Other... More corn nuts? Oh my gosh, it's going to be back there. Dude, you're crazy. <laughs> Let's go. Look at this guy. Still stuck there. I have a corn nut. What do we got here? GTR. Number seven at the track. That, my friends, is not daily driven. You should be driving your GTR to the track, sir. I didn't see a roll cage or anything indicating that it's not street legal. All right, wifey, what are your thoughts on the Cybertruck? I mean, I wanna, how much is the Cybertruck? I don't know, it's uh, 100 grand or 150 grand. I wanna know grand. why that, and then it's just towing that. It looks like a car. <laughs> I would be surprised if, you know, kind of like the Hummer, it's really crappy when you tow, 
when you when it comes to like reducing the range. I do not think it's horrendous. It's pretty damn ugly, isn't it? Yeah, aren't they having lots of problems also? Well, they rust because it's like stainless, so they like have an issue with like rusting the bodywork. It's, it's pretty ugly. Wow. Anyhow, made a statement, Tesla. Good marketing, I'll tell you that much. Everyone's talking about them. Look at me, driving down the freeway and the only thing I turned my phone on was talk about that ugly ass thing. And the cop in front of us is doing a traffic break. So, I don't know what's going on, but he's slowing everybody down so we can't, can't get ahead. Stay tuned. Maybe something exciting will happen. Well, the cop's just right in the middle line and slowing us all down. I don't really see on GPS saying that there's an accident ahead or anything. Well, that was bizarre. They traffic braked us and then the cop just pulls off and turns and doesn't, that's it. Nothing, nothing exciting happened. I don't understand why they do that. If you're a California Highway Patrol officer, please educate us, comment below. I wanna know, why do you guys do that? It's a mystery to all of us. All right, guys, back at the HQ, dropping off the big Y body and uh, gonna pick something else up. Wifey and Presley fly home tomorrow. I'm here for a few more days. Um, Dave should be getting in sometime tomorrow, probably tomorrow night, I would imagine. Um, gonna bang out a few more videos this week and then I actually have a family vacation for the first time in a long time, about six or seven years. Even my two oldest daughters, Mia and Tyla, will be joining me. So I'm super excited. That's in about a week. Going to go to Hawaii, Waikiki Beach for about six days and do my best to relax. I'm not very good at that. My wife's always giving me a hard time. She's like, you don't know how to relax. She's like, let's see how this goes. So I'm going to drop this off. I'm not sure what I want to take right now. I'm going to take something though. And why is there water all over the floor? What the hell is going on in here? Is that coming from the 599? What the heck? We need to investigate this. Turn off the alarm. Why is there all this water here? Like, there's a decent amount of water. I know it rained really hard on the weekend, but did it flood in here? Did it come under the door? That's really bizarre. Like there's power tools sitting in the water. Yeah. Huh. That is so, what the hell is this? Garbage. All right, let's go see what we can take. Well, obviously not taking the KB43 car because it's sitting exactly where I parked it. And when I parked it here, it was after the LZ World Tour event, tour event, which means it has no tires still. Yup, no tires. Good morning. I'm waiting for Dave to come down. I was just walking up towards the Bentley and the Senna and looking at how freaking crazy and how different do those two cars look. It's wild. I mean, we're talking hypercar versus obviously luxury car. Now, I've driven Dave's Bentley for the last couple of days uh, before he came into town. I need a car with four seats because my wife and daughter were here. They've just recently left and I love this thing. Makes me want one for a daily driver. Dave should be here any minute. We're gonna go grab uh, our good old morning coffees and get on with the day. A little cold start here. Let's fire this thing up. Oh, slide into it. Because carbon center seats, they're a bit stiff right on the side here. You get that cut into your hamstring when you jump in this in. Does it fucking do it again? Does it? <laughs> you don't have to do it again. Wait, Just wait, keep wait. yelling. It was fun. Dude, what the fuck is a radio? That's why I started. That's I fucking said to you yesterday. What did I say to you? That's why I started yeah, recording. Why are you moving around so much? Stand one position. What did I say yesterday with the radio? Freaking hot. It's down there. The Mars. What, what did I say yesterday? <laughs> grab it. Did I? You did. What did I say? Stuttered. I said clearly. Grab the radiator. His car but, but, but why? But why? Why, why grab the radiator? Explain why. Because we need to make a video today. Yeah. How many racks do we have? Three, two down. 
Dude, your car's just chilling, chilling on one of them. 225 for each sensor. What? 225 for each sensor? Yeah, Carlsbad's the only one. See, but where's the radiator? Okay. Yeah, Carlsbad's the only one that has it. How far is that? About an hour south. Long Beach doesn't have it. So can we just pay for them over the phone and then have it over ship them up? Yeah, I'll call them back again. So I brought in Nate to manage you. Nate is the new Steven manager. That's his role here. Where, where's the radiator? Yeah, where is it? Nate, the call me. Where's the radiator? You didn't Mar- call Mar- me last night. It. No, you have to yell at him now. Where's the radiator? You didn't call me last night, Nate. Oh my god. I don't even have his numbers. Yeah, <laughs> he's not even he's not he doesn't even get how to play Steven, along. Where's the radiator? Steven? Radiator? Yes, no? Thank you. That was a bit soft, Nate. I'm not gonna lie. Is it cool? That was pretty soft. That was pretty soft. Like you're you're not gonna do it. Why am I so wheezy? I had this wheezy laugh and I hate it. No, don't say. Where's the radiator? Where's the radiator, Steven? Where's the radiator? Don't touch it. I'm not touching it. You're right. You're right. You're right. By the way, by the way, can you grab your credit card and pay for these and see if we can get an Uber to ship them up here right away? I'm going to need my credit card to the sketchy mechanic. And I said, to, I, said to order, I said to order four because the odds of someone breaking another one are probably pretty good. Parts. You're ordering TPMS. You're not flirting with the girl. Yeah, leave her alone, dude. Why? Yeah, it's fun. That's fun. What? That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> giving you a little behind the scenes here at Protective Film Solutions. Jason, Kyle, look at this. My man is wearing the shirt too. And we are putting the decals on the van. Now this was inspired by one of you guys who sent us a really epic like laminate, basically big plaque that had a vision for the black van. The black van that we destroyed. As Almost in we, we as a team destroyed the van. It wasn't one person's fault. So since we destroyed the van, uh, we went out and bought a brand new van. And the reason is we love these vans. And when we bought our van years ago, like three years ago? Yeah, three years ago. Three years ago when we bought our first Carrera GT van, uh, basically the van prices, all the car prices were like through the roof. Plus it was a lot newer. That would have been 21 the van was a 19, it was only two years old. Uh, they were like 30, we paid like $33,000 for that thing. What's up? Hello. How you doing, Brian? Yeah, your glasses. Yeah, where are your glasses? Out, man. I don't reach everybody out now. No glasses, <laughs> you have contacts? Sure? No, not yet, I just, my oh, glasses are already little little squint. He's just blind? Yeah, well, not a little bit. He just walks around? <laughs> I'm like a mall. Echolo- <laughs> echolocation? <laughs> so, uh, we paid like 33 grand for that van. And we love the van, but we beat on the van. And then we regret sometimes beating on the van because it's the van that we want to be in good condition when like my wife and daughter come into town or Dave and I just want to take the van sometimes to the hotel because it's, you know, comfy and incognito. So long story short, you know, three years later, the vans are a lot cheaper. They're one third the price. Yeah. So by the time we bought this one, well, half, half price. Yeah, just under half. half the price, yeah. So instead of 33 grand, we got this for 142, right? 14225 is a hell of a negotiator, but we got it done. So we have a whole nother van and we decide to go with this really cool metallic gray charcoal color. And that really was inspired by that design that was sent to us on the plaque. And now of course we're here at Protective Film Solutions with our boys getting the livery installed. Now what we're gonna do is in that plaque, you guys had an image whoever made that. It was an image with basically Lark, you know, color matching wheels. We're not gonna go that far. Just trying to find Lark paint is like near impossible. But what we are gonna do is we are gonna swap these wheels out. So I think we'll put our other wheels that are black well, on, or we could take these and powder coat we'll them. Because the other ones are pretty banged up. Are they? I don't know. Yeah, they're destroyed. Really? They're like ruined. Well, these are, these are in good condition. We, can get, we get these powder coated for now. 
And then eventually we could find um, some type of uh, aftermarket wheel. This piece is at the shop, isn't it? Okay, we, have we can just take it off the other van. Yeah. Or we can shift it away. Do you want to? Do you want to like also just trade the back hatch for the other van too? The back piece. The other van got to a point where it had so much damage, like so much damage, we had to kind of we had to move on. We had to, you had to finish it off. No, we finished it off, man. It's a collective. I'm tired of explaining that that we all did it together. <laughs> it turns out it turned out pretty good though. Like these guys went and gave it a little clean, a little buff. Yeah. We get this taken out. It's got a hundred thousand miles on it. And it was fourteen grand. I love it. I love how excited we are right now about the van when we have a garage full of supercars. But generally, you and I got up this morning early to come see the van. Yeah, I love the van. Honestly, I really regret that the van wasn't in good condition when my wife was here, so that I could have gave her the van to just cruise around in. Now, she's probably gonna wonder when we get when we get her down here again. <laughs> why we got another van but this time we're gonna put a livery on it so it's not gonna be so low-key no not well it'd be clean well, it'll be clean but well, you're you're gonna be able to expect. you're gonna be able to spot a gray van with carrera van gt on the side of it in it's lark pink. real easy so that's cool so we got some that. some cool things going on here we got this piece going on we have a few other little bits going on van's gonna have its own livery thank you protective film solution So cool. Now we tried to install vinyl on Michael S's comp car. And let's just say it looked good if you stood in the in the up in the bleachers and looked down at the track. <laughs> it sure didn't look good if you stood up close to it. Dude, how sick is that? Look at that. GT baby! GT! This color on gray looks so good. Oh yeah, it's the right choice. Getting the gray van was smart. It's a departure from the traditional DDE black minivan. But you know, we all evolved. It's cool too, because this whole color was designed off of having a darker gray metallic yeah, color in the center that. of the door for the Lark anyhow. So just worked out. We'll show you guys, you'll have to stick around for a full reveal on the other channel. Mother, look what's in here. Where is he going? I see you. You just watch for the shop like he owns the place. out I wonder what he's looking for maybe he's looking hey maybe he legit is looking for mice hey if he jumps on Dave's head I'm gonna die hey oh he likes your wheel he was rubbing up against your wheel if you want to get some cat food? Then they won't eat the mice. I still eat the mice. You think so? Hey, buddy. Yeah, it's okay. It's feral. He's a happy one. Listen to him doing the cat. Oh, he's in the mood. Where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? It's okay. Dude, we just watched it walk, just chill all the way through the shop, as it always does. Come here. Cool. I mean, Ryan's not, but. And he's out. And This car is honestly. You're good. You're killing it, bro. It's a little bigger than the last one. This is this car is gorgeous. Like, 
Look at the seats. Full carbon, carbon seats. Carbon center. Carbon center. All the God. Dude, this back like little duckbill thing is sick. M4 CSL. Look at these tail lights. Nuts. Round two. Lockups at the HQ. Always the best. Another late one. Right. After midnight. Safe travel. Good to see you, Garrett. Me too. See you this Saturday. We gotta see get. We gotta get. We gotta get ready for the rally life. All of us with the with oh, the wives. Man. I've been trying to hey, get get the, stretch the legs out. Stretch the stretch legs the out. Legs out. I, I got to get my tolerance for alcohol up a little bit. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, of course at night. Of course, only at the all inclusive. You're uh, rocking the Porsche tonight, eh? We're gonna be Lambros on the rally. Yes. You're bringing the Lambo. Yes, sir. Dave's bringing a Lambo. Lambo. I don't know what I'm bringing yet. Look at this thing. This would be a good rally car. This it car. Would this car would be badass. Sounds good. Be. But the, Lam the Lambo. It's. It's. I, I'm changing the livery. The livery's been a big Ooh. part of me Ooh, for a long time. New livery so for the rally. After the rally. So oh, this damn, is like right. the last hurrah. Yeah. You know. So I figured, like, with the fellas, with the wife, send the livery off. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your so, front's open. Yeah, yeah. I gotta, uh, I gotta put my jacket in there. I don't like oh. driving with the jacket on. Oh, fair it's enough. You don't just throw it on the passenger seat. You put it all the way in the front. I guess I could. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew? My weird OCD. Have a good night. <laughs> you too, Later. Dave and I are rolling in the big body Bentley. This thing is very comfortable, and uh, I love it when Dave drives, and all I have to do is sit here. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do quickly? You put the alarm on, hey, and everything. Yep. My jacket's still here. I'll bring it's it tomorrow. tomorrow. It's all good. We'll do it tomorrow. Put on it. <laughs> yeah, my light orange. Just go buy North, my new one. North face. Like Dude, look at all the lights in your car. It's crazy. Your car's like a light show in here. The way that the dash and everything lights up and down by your feet. You got night vision on right now. What's that all about? Let's see the night. Let's see it. That's pretty crazy. And people, it'll. People are bright yellow with a little box around them saying morning. Really? Human. Yeah. Really? Get them to stand in here and ra race over at them. He's doing a reverse donuts, this guy. That's what a mess. That is wild. The grill? He doesn't know what we're doing right now. He's just confused. He is confused. Look at that <laughs> night vision. Night vision on the Bentley. Ask him to get out and walk in front of your car for a second. Hey, will you get out and walk in front of my car? Oh, he says window up. Huh? We're testing my night vision. Will you get out and walk in front of my walk car? Walk in front of his car. Dave says that it puts a square box around him. Says warning. It does what? Because it can detect a human. So just like walk through. Yeah, walk, walk up front. forward. Walk in front. You're too close. You gotta go further. You're you go further. further. You're on the bumper. Like 20, 30 feet out. No yeah. more, 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 more. We get his exercise in. You gotta go further out. Do nothing it like does, it. It does. <laughs> He's just too close. Okay, back up, back up, back so don't up. Move, don't move. Hey there. Don't move. No, 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 no. Go in front. Go in front of the car. Go in front up. of the car. We're gonna back up. You're too close, apparently. That thing like zooms in. Look at it's like a, it's, it's, it's look looking how, for. Look how far morning. away we are. Oh, there you go. Yeah, and when you're driving, it'll say warning, pedestrian. Look, so at him. Look at unless, him. Unless you're that far away, you're going to hit the person. How crazy no is that? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> what a mind fuck. That is crazy. And then you run him over. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Got a coffee in hand. Yes, sir. Comfy in the Bentley. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Massage seats are now on. You know, speaking of Bentleys, it doesn't... I was watching some video recently that... Mercedes and BMW like own other brands and things like a Rolls Royce is like 80% or 85% a 7 series BMW. Correct. Yeah, Crazy. For 5x the price. What's this? Is that is that an actual proto? It is. Yep. That is a prototype car of some kind. It's a Mercedes. Yeah. I bet he loves being filmed. What is that? I have that deck the Mercedes in the blue front. Yeah. Uh, Mercedes. It's cool. It's very interesting. 
It was electric or something. It's neat. That's quite the wrap. I like how they I actually like it. Yeah. I like how they mask the tail lights and stuff. And look at that weird exhaust because it's probably uh, calculating emissions and stuff like that. It's pretty neat. Let's see the front. Oh yeah, different Mercedes. Man. Definitely mystery car. What do you guys think that is? Comment below. Prototype cars on the 405. And this is what they do when they do cars like this. They will, um, they literally use cars all over the planet. So this car, let's say, could have been in Switzerland in the Alps doing high, higher altitude, super cold testing. And then they'll bring it over here to California and drive it around and test things, not just like the emissions and tuning of the engine, but suspension, everything. So like driving on the bumpy roads in Southern California on the 405, how's the suspension gonna wear? How's the brake wear being in traffic commuting? They calculate all this stuff. It's crazy the amount of data that they collect to build these cars, which is why it's so ironic and funny that we wanna take them and think we we're making them better, oh, yeah, yeah. when in reality, we're, we're actually making the cars worse. Like when you retune a car, and Spencer. modify it, you're really fucking the car up. I mean, in your eyes, you can make it better for maybe one part of its function, let's say for the track, but you're really ruining it for road use. This thing's really neat looking. I talked to- Look at, dude, the exhaust pipes are so insane. I uh, actually, I think, I think it was the same car almost. I was at a gas station in a vlog I did, and I asked the guy off camera, I said, what's your job? He goes, to put miles on it. Just to put miles on it. So they have all these drivers, they just drive them all day, every day. This guy's so curious about why we, we keep pacing him and filming him, though, because he keeps looking over. <laughs> he's got a lot of stuff in there. We're in a murder little Bentley. Yeah. He's got, like, all this stuff on the dash. Yeah. It's cool. All right, show him what the power is like, buddy. Put it down. See ya! See ya! Bentley! Or maybe BMW or... Audi. Is Audi? Yeah. Is owned by Audi? Yeah. yeah. We Audi. Really? So yeah. you would? You would get rid of this? If I... I was gonna get a car like personal money, not for YouTube at all. And I wanted to have the experience of what things I love about Bentley, I would get that car. Yeah. Because you're gonna get more tech, more modern tech, air suspension, all the things I love about luxury for a fifth the price. Like That's true. It's a really valid point. This car currently right now is probably about 180 USD. New is like almost three hundred thousand dollars. It's a lot of money. It's hard to justify three hundred thousand dollars on driving this car. It doesn't feel the Mulsanne felt special. Yeah, right. It felt like oh, okay, this car was expensive. This car feels more a bit more Audi. Yeah, yeah. and things like if things didn't work out with the GT three kit, I would just get rid of this and buy that Mercedes. Yep. I think that was something like uh, that almost looked like probably E sixty three S territory Cabriolet. Cabriolet. And you know, honestly, breaks. like, there's part of the experience of the convertible that I do miss with the Aperta we had. Dude, it was fun. And years ago, but before we worked together, I had an E46 uh, convertible. Mercedes, or BMW E46 convertible. And my daughter back. Cabriolet. Yeah, it was cool. That is cool. Yeah. Yeah, on a, on a nice, not overly hot, just that nice warm yeah. day, it is cool to rip around with the top down. Dude, the Aperta was fun. The Aperta was... Terrifying. Wow. It was, it was, if you're going fast, it, it was terrifying. Sucked. The wind would hit your helmet and it get that shake. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you're really squinting to maintain focus on what's going around. Yeah. It was an experience. And we used to drive that LA to Orange County. I know. It was its funnest when we were just cruising around Rodeo and in Beverly Hills. And Monterey. And Monterey. When I got pulled over. No helmets. Yeah. Just driving around. Yeah. That was a lot of fun, that car. I got a ticket. Um, we were filming the guys like, yeah, you're good to pass. And I passed. And there's a cop. Like, thanks, bro. So right now, <laughs> let's say Mercedes comes out with that prototype car that yeah. we just saw going down the road, or it's equivalent right now, yeah. that car. If you got rid of this yeah. and got out of this, you could probably go and buy that car in full for what the down payment on this was. Probably, but more importantly, Mercedes always has really good lease offers. So you could walk in here in LA, zero down, and probably get that car for half the payment on this. Zero down? For they sure. Do zero down. For sure. Oh, bro. A brand new Mercedes, yeah. And like, what's coming on next as well, we haven't seen it yet, is the S63. Oh, dude, it's going to be sick. And it's going to be 240 grand Canadian. I already talked about Grandman Builder because Grandman loves Brand new. Yeah, 240 Canadian. It's a that's, lot for an S Class. That's all the car for that money. 
that, oh, yeah. that, that, is, that is that is basically all the stuff you would get in a Rolls Royce. Oh. But the Rolls Royce would be six hundred thousand. Probably more. The thing is, remember, we're always catering to this crazy. Ego. So when someone has a Rolls Royce or a Bentley or whatever, yep. there's that ego that, that satisfies. Like I got a Bentley, I got a Roll, Rolls Royce, especially when I had my Rolls Royce. It was very strange. People's reactions were mostly negative. The Bentley was mostly positive, just based on perception of the brand. Yeah. Yeah, Rolls Royce is like real. Like I remember even growing up, it was like real snooty ownership is what you associated to a Rolls Royce. Like real wealthy, like people who thought they were above everybody. That's crazy. And now I'm like, oh, this just it's just a car. Now I now I'm an adult and I understand. Yeah, it's just a car. Every brand is just another brand. Doesn't matter. What, rate, what the, it doesn't matter what the value dollar value you associate or the market places on it. There are things considered luxury, but now it's the blinds are so blurred because now every manufacturer can put what used to be very luxurious items in a car. Now you can get things like heated seats and leather and oh, like yeah. anything. Kias have that now. Yeah, like, like Civics. Back in the day, it was always like your Honda would always just have um, uh, cloth upholstery. But now it's like forever now it's got like heated seats and like all the tech you can get in any car that's that's 30 40 grand pretty crazy one day at one point you couldn't get any of that shit you had to buy the expensive gucci car would you get tim already here damn you go boy Bro, look at the tires look at tim hold on and steven's look already here these. holy crap what the hell is this are these uh is this for our next project <laughs> maybe no one no one knows delivery at the hq oh wow can i not <laughs> You got this. Is it gonna hit? No, you're good. This guy in the rig's like, what the heck? Is this thing one for this as well? Yeah, it's both gates. Same, same button? No, it's a different button. Hit the other one. There you go. Right, that is the life hack. Would you get Mercedes? Yeah. I love it. Matching Cabriolets? We're getting our 40s now. The S that you know what's one of my all-time favorite Mercedes that we got an opportunity to drive is when Houston first got his oh. 2019 brand new S63 S, and he gave it to us and we ripped it around LA with everybody in it. Carbon brakes on it. That yes. Thing, that well, fully nice. spec. Yeah. That was one of my favorite cars, and to this day, I think that's one of my favorite body lines because I've seen the newer S's. It's in doing donuts right now, and some of them are different. I think so. But it's just another day. At another day at DD. <laughs> this is what I love about <laughs> the new HQ. So that the boys can come to work and have fun. Man, bro, I didn't know you were here, dude. We love that. We love it that you can come to work and just have. Where else can you do that? <laughs> Nowhere. Nowhere. <laughs> I love that you're ripping around, and that's like you come to work, and that's what gets you pumped up to be here, right? <laughs> and then there's Steven. He parks his car with his doors up and just flexes on everybody. <laughs> that's what he did. That's I know. I saw. We saw the gate open, and we were like, "Hey, Steven and Tim are here," and there's a truck out front with massive tires on the deck. Oh yeah, I saw that. I, I was know. like. Our next DD project. Yo, why aren't you out there, Steven? I'm gonna go get it. You just, you just, you just got your car and put the doors up on everybody, eh? Flexing on them haters. Look at that screen. Oh yeah. He's doing the line. He's doing the line. He's gonna come back around. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy! Almost drove into the carry Oh, that was close! <laughs> it is slippery when it's wet. Let's go. The block. Can you imagine? Right into oh. Steven's car. Oh, Steven's coming out here. Well, this will be interesting. I'm getting out for this one. Does he know how to turn that all off? I don't know. What? Yo, this it might be a this might be a might be a bad idea, I don't know. Yeah. 
You have to turn everything off. I get in there and show him how to turn it all off. I don't think he knows how to turn oh, everything off. Oh yeah, he forgot. Off. He probably Did didn't it? turn it off. There's no way that's all off. You can just tell by the way the car is moving. You have to hold down active. Yeah. Hold the active button for five seconds till it flashes and then push the two buttons in and hold them in for five seconds and it'll confirm that it's all off. The old McLaren MP412C Tech. They really wanted to make sure that if you wanted everything off, you really wanted everything off. This car is so filthy. It's actually perfect for ripping around right here. We had a bit of, we had a sprinkle of rain, but now the sun is out. Another beautiful day here in Southern California. In no time, probably an hour, this will be all dry. All right, hopefully it doesn't help. Ready to see Steven's skills? Yeah, there's plenty of uh, horsepower on the Well, the problem is, is the concrete is really slippery. Yeah. It's limiting, it's limiting you. I love this car, by the way. Yeah. That's not, that is not it. Watch out for the camera. It's not all off. It can't be all off. It's not all off. Yeah, maybe it's not. You gotta make sure you confirm it. Turn it off. Active. Now off. press and hold it for five seconds until it flashes. There you, you look go. at your dash, it just say ESC confirm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Press, 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 no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Press and hold these until it confirms. ESC there you go. confirm selection. Hold on, hold on. There you go. Oh, there, there it is. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah. Cool. Rookie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a surefire way to end up into a, a, a K rail. It's when the car is trying to correct you and just puts you into the rail. This is about to get real interesting. It is cutting his power. Crazy. It's in a little bit. It's just cut. It's cutting the power. Oh, and now it's in limb mode. Steven, 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 breaking the car on the block. One donut. Right? Not even one. Not even. Well, get on it. Fix it there, Mr. McLaren. There you go. Now, see how it's flashing now? Yeah, so now hold those two in. And it should say up here. There you go. Oh. Round two. Fight. I saw a quick little error message, I, but we'll, we won't tell them. Well, yeah, we'll ignore that for now. <laughs> we cleared it by turning it off. I look. Good morning, Michael Essa. Good morning, are we eating morning donuts? Dude, this is what these guys do every day. Every time, every time Tim comes into work, if we're here, here early enough, it comes perfect. It doesn't sound happy. It, it does, it still sounds like awesome. What happened? Did something happen? Now it works. I know. So get in there and stay in it. <laughs> he said, now it works. <laughs> you got liquid horsepower and it's going to save your tires. Yeah, exactly. He's got it now. Not very. <laughs> I don't blame he's him. Get, he's getting better though. He's getting it. it slowly. It's yeah. better to go slow. Build your way up. Exactly. Don't don't rush into it. Yeah. Oh, he's going back. He hasn't had enough. Yeah. 